Pharmaceutical companies use chemistry to find new drugs. Remarkably, half of all the drugs available on the market today were not created within a chemistry lab, but were found in nature, from plants and from bacteria, from fungi. Aspirin, in the form of plant extracts, have been used to treat pain and fever since the time of the Greeks. Penicillin, the world's first antibiotic responsible for saving 200 million lives since 1942, was discovered in fungi. These are natural products. I'm interested in another natural product called osnic acid, found in lichen. Osnic acid can kill tuberculosis and malaria parasites. So why is it that you likely never heard of osnic acid, or any other lichen molecule for that matter? The problem with lichen is that lichen grows so slowly, there's literally a science devoted to studying how slowly it grows. It's called lichenometry. You could use it to figure out when landslides happened in ancient Rome. You just can't grow enough lichen to commercialize lichen molecules. So how do we fix this problem? The fundamental doctrine of biology dictates that from DNA, we get proteins. And proteins, they do all the heavy lifting in the cells. They make molecules, including osnic acid. If we take the DNA responsible for osnic acid, the gene, and we put that DNA into a faster growing organism, like bacteria, we can essentially trick that bacteria into producing osnic acid for us, faster. In order to find this gene, we first had to sequence the lichen genome. And we did this using technology already available in Winnipeg. Half of this DNA has already been loaded into a bacterial host, and I'm now analyzing the results. The relevance of this research extends far beyond producing known metabolites from lichen. Consider, for instance, that only a minority of species on this planet are accounted for. Only 1% of soil-dwelling bacteria have ever been grown in a lab. My research can bypass this problem because you don't actually need an organism to explore its natural products. You only need its DNA. And this is what I get really excited about. Not finding new and better ways of producing the tiny amount of molecules that we do know about, but to discover what lies in the 99% of nature that we haven't yet explored. If one species of lichen can provide a potential treatment for malaria and tuberculosis, imagine what we could potentially find in the 10,000 species of lichen and the 100,000 species of plants and the 1 million species of bacteria that share this planet with us. And so I conclude with the following possibility. What if, perhaps even in Bird Cell Park, Hiding within the DNA of a bacterium, or a plant, or a fungus, or a lichen, we can find the next penicillin, or the next aspirin. I hope my research will one day allow us to find that drug. Thank you.